Hello everyone. Um, what I have here is two 98 Mauser bolts. One of them is a standard standard length 98 Mauser, and the other has been shortened by a rather significant amount. And I've come up with a solution uh, by this much actually. I've come up with a solution that allows for assembly of the Mauser 98 firing pin system without the need to go to a two-piece firing pin or uh, anything weird with the caulking piece or any modifications thereof. Um, I did a practice run with a broken firing pin. Uh, I'll do a uh, final run on a good one when it's time to get the gun up and running. Um, as you can see with the standard Mauser bolt, if we uh, take a quick little measurement here, we end up at uh, 4.5, hmm, 4.525 approximate length between the back of the front and rear locking lugs. And on the short one, you can see that it's significantly shorter. We're going to pull this up to approximately the length of... It's going to be around... 2.75 or so as far as the length goes uh, last time I calculated I figured I cut out almost an inch and three quarters or maybe a little more than an inch and three quarters out of the bolt and uh, receiver in order to do this and uh, when I did so I came across the Mauser firing pin uh, locking or binding problem uh, that people are talking about when you're talking about short actions. In order to get an idea for that, you kind of have to understand how the Mauser goes together in this. And most of you will know if you're looking at this video that in order to get the Mauser firing pin spring assembly apart, we must compress the sleeve down in order to take the caulking piece off at a 90 degree angle. With the added problem that the actual caulking piece tang sticks forward quite far, and in order to assemble that, well, you really got to compress the firing spring almost too hard up uh, in order to do so, which I'm going to do on this bolt off to the side here. So that's where my little setup is. I'm going to remove its caulking piece and pull it apart. And you can see quite the difference in length between these assemblies. Now, if I, are, if I were to dry fit the Mauser assembly together, I'm going to push the sleeve down over top and then what I'm going to do is take the caulking piece and install it just a little bit and I'm going to pull the sleeve back. And you can see from the video that in order to get this together I'm going to need to be able to compress a firing pin spring down to that distance which is a physical impossibility to have this work in any meaningful way. So you're faced with a couple of possibilities here. You can go to a two-piece firing pin and do the assembly that way. You could do something weird with the caulking piece where you let it slide directly over and then use a nut on the back end. Um, you could also potentially bore the bolt deeper and leave this part longer while shortening up this section of the firing pin. Or uh, we can do what I came up with, which in this case... Uh, as soon as I get this apart here. What I did is I installed a helix on the firing pin. Let me try and get this to focus here. So that I can effectively thread the firing pin spring on to the firing pin from this end. And uh, we're going to do a little demonstration of that here. As soon as I uh, spray just a little bit of oil on the whole assembly because it's dry at the moment and I'm just using REM oil here because uh, that's what I have handy in my garage. So what we're going to do in order to get this all together is we are first going to assemble the shroud and caulking piece assembly without the spring. And we must remember to do this ahead of time because there's no way to do this after the spring is installed. And uh, there we go. So now we have this much space in which to thread on the firing pin spring. 
Now this isn't uh, the cleanest of operations, but it's pretty good. We're going to take the firing pin spring and we're just going to pull and thread it on here. And this takes just the slightest bit of finesse to get it started. But once it does, um, and we keep it started, and there's a couple of places where it doesn't really guide the best, and I've used uh, a screwdriver to help me along here in getting it in the correct location as I wind it on. Um, again, this is not something that uh, I foresee having to do an awful lot in the future, just upon initial assembly. And it is just a little bit finicky here at this port. And I think that in the future, I could probably plan out a slightly better location for the helix to run in order for the starting of it to be significantly easier. Because it is binding a little bit on me. I went through and smoothed everything in the hopes that it would help and it's actually hindering me here. But now that we've gotten it started, we're going to run all the way up and down and thread the firing pin spring on to the firing pin. And we are going to do that all the way. Now right now, this uh, caulking piece is not caulked. This makes it a little bit easier to deal with. We will have to manually caulk it before being able to install it into the gun. Now at this point, just thread it all the way on. And what we're going to do, the firing pin spring never actually revolves in relation to the, either the firing pin or the caulking piece. With the Mauser, it's consistently in that location at all times. So all we have to do is make sure that the start of our helix spring simply doesn't line up with where we can peel the spring back off again if we need to, and we're in good shape. So at this point, this is in the fired position, and you can see that the spring is fairly well tensed. Um, I've measured the trigger pull on this at right at 7 pounds with a military two-stage trigger, which is about a pound higher than the standard six pound five pound triggers that you get well pound to two higher but nonetheless it works totally happy with the solution i'm pretty sure that it's going to go bang when i pull the trigger there's plenty of energy there so at this point uh my firing pin spring is installed and all i'm going to do is reset the safety using my little hole over here like so and now i'm ready to install the caulking piece back into my shortened Mauser bolt. Like so. And what we're gonna do is to do a proof of concept here. We have a test bed rifle, which has no round in it and is actually currently not even chambered, but it is in fact empty. We're going to install our bolt. I'm gonna bring it home to battery and remove the safety, and dry fire it. Just like that. If you get any indication of the sound on the video, you get a pretty good idea that it's going to be able to fire uh, the cartridge I'll be running with no problem at all. There's plenty of power and energy there. So that is, at the end of the day, uh, my solution to an ultra-short Mauser action. Uh, to get around the firing pin spring binding issue. Thank you.